What are some food myths that people still believe today? Gum stays in your intestinal tract for 7 years. Lobsters don't suffer. We have lobster a lot in the summer. They sure move like they're not having fun. It's all natural so it's good for you. Especially in supplements and dietary aids. Bitch, poison ivy is all natural but you don't see anyone gnawing on that. Just because something has an expiry date doesn't mean it's bad the day after. You can only have a limited number of eggs, like 7 or something, per week. That GMO equals bad. Genetic modification isn't harmful in and of itself. No it won't go mutate your DNA or give you cancer. Some companies may be shady, looking at you Monsanto, but GMOs can actually be beneficial, make crops more resistant to drought, improve vitamin levels. On a related note, everything is made of chemicals. People saying things are chemical free doesn't mean said thing is good for you or lacks anything bad. Cold water boils faster. Salt is bad. Eggs are bad. That you can spot reduce fat. You cannot spot reduce fat. If you ever see that about ABS or arms or butts or thighs it is an advertising agency lying to you. No it's not an expert. In my country people think if you drink milk while eating a green mango you will die. That's a myth originated in the Brazilian colonization. When the planters wanted to kill a slave, they offered poisoned milk and a mango. That message, monosodium glutamate, naturally occurring food additive slash compound, gives food an umami slash savory taste, it's amazing honestly, is bad for you slash they're allergic to it slash causes upset stomach. Just a load of bullshit. My grandma, love her dearly, unfortunately believes this. She will often refuse to get any type of Asian cuisine because of all the message they put in it, it gives me a stomach ache. It's well documented that much of the fear of Asian cuisine and message comes from, take a big guess, racism. This was given the name Chinese restaurant syndrome where customers would get sick after eating at these places. Drives me insane that people still believe this, not realizing that literally thousands of other types of foods they eat contain message. On another note, try to pick some up at the store, it's usually packaged as a food enhancer or something like that. Add a tiny bit to hamburger or savory foods, adds mouth wateriness. Fat free is healthier food. All carbs are bad for you. That eating carrots improves your eyesight. It was actually a cover up for the British using radar during the Battle of Britain. You must drink at least 8 glasses of water a day. It actually depends on your activity level, how hot slash humid it is, and a variety of other factors. It may be more, it may be less, but your body will tell you, and the 8 8 ounces per day flat rate for everyone is not true at all. All farmed seafood is horrible and you should only eat wild caught. Yes, there are lots of seafood farms that fuck it up, for example Atlantic salmon, many shrimp ponds in Asia, but like anything else, there's a wrong way and right way. Closed pens, inland recirculating tanks, off-bottom shellfish farming, ponds regulated by the ASC that preserve mangrove forests and don't use chemicals, etc. are quite sustainable and environmentally friendly. Wild caught is great, but there's still a lot of unsustainable slash unselective fishing methods being used, damaging ocean floors, coral, bee catch incidents, as well as fishing from areas where there's inadequate data on fish stocks. Pre-cutting onions is dangerous. Fruit juices like Sunny D or apple juice are healthy. They are basically sugar water. They may have their place, but shouldn't be seen as a healthy alternative to water. Lobsters scream when you boil them. They don't. Drinking milk after fish can cause vitiligo SMH. You'll die if you eat the apple seeds each time you eat an apple. You should eat tons of it to really have health problems caused by the cyanide which is contained in the seeds in tiny quantities. That meat contains antibiotics. In my country, UK, it is illegal for meat to contain traces of antibiotics or any other medication that remains in the flesh. 
we have to keep such strict records, follow very strict rules and regulations, and the penalties and repercussions of not doing are not worth thinking about, let alone risking. Any aphrodisiacs that come from an animal. Myth, coconut oil is a heart healthy cooking alternative. The reality is that coconut oil has been shown to raise cholesterol levels the good and the bad kinds more than other plant-based oils like olive or canola. And in truth, medium chain triglycerides make up only a small amount of the fatty acids in coconut oil. Plus, while other heart healthy fats like olive oil, canola oil, or omega-3 fatty acids in nuts and seafood have been supported by a large body of evidence, coconut oil's supposed benefits still haven't been proved in large-scale human research. French fries. It's not French. It comes from Belgium. There is no such thing as a 5-second rule. You can't eat medium-rare pork. The food pyramid is not that accurate. Eating fat does not, contrary to popular beliefs, make you fat. Thank you for watching the video. Welcome to Reddit Wisdom, here you will learn the wisdom of the crowd, the wisdom of Reddit. Please consider subscribing for more Reddit Wisdom.